So in addition to taking the macro view of heat, uh, one has to remember that, that there, there are certain local aspects of heat transfer. What I mean by that is sometimes there is a, there's a feature in the casting, uh, maybe a, a cross, a large, heavier cross section, or maybe a core or something that's surrounded by molten metal, which will have more heat and it becomes what we call a hot spot and it does require more aggressive cooling and and we have to keep that in mind because the spray is oftentimes uh, expected to take care of it so we oftentimes at the system level the dye itself we are removing most of the heat with the internal cooling lines but then once we are faced with uh, a hot spot in a certain area of the dye, we have to spray more aggressively just to keep that area uh, below a certain temperature and and be able to uh, move on to the next cycle. So so that's the local aspect in which we can either increase the spray or use some uh, cooling lines such as bubblers and baffles. And lately, uh, we're working on conformal cooling lines that would be more effective in removing heat from hot spots in the dye. To purchase access to this course, visit the NADCA Marketplace at www.diecasting.org slash store. Purchasing a course through the online education system grants you one year of access to the recording, presentation, support material, and test when applicable. NADCA Video News and Information is brought to you by the following sponsors.